So TubeBuddy has just released a new feature that I want to walk you through. It is called Click Magnets. So head to the top and click on your TubeBuddy dashboard. And then I want you to head over to Tools. And then you'll see under the Keyword Explorer, there is Click Magnet. And click on Launch Click Magnet now. So you can see Click Magnet is in Beta Preview and you can expand your audience and drive more meaningful views by turning your videos into click magnets. Click on that blue get started button and TubeBuddy is going to process the data from your videos and then they're going to give you four options to look at. There's power rankings, element inspector, opportunities, this is the best of them all, and advanced analytics. Let's start with the power rankings. Now it's going to look at your videos and it's going to show you a couple of metrics and the strength of each video. So what is your click through rate? What is the watch time for the video? And how many clicks have you actually got with the title that you've chosen and the thumbnail that you've used? Then they give you a strength rating, which is really nice to see. You want to be in the green and if you are down in the orange and red, you are not doing so well. So this is really nice to see all of your videos and how they're doing, which ones are performing the best with click-through rate, watch time, and clicks, which are massive metrics that YouTube looks at to decide how they push your videos to your viewers. Now, if you head over to the left hand side, there's traffic source and you can choose between YouTube search, suggested videos and browse features. And that'll let you know what you are looking at. And then we can head back. Let's look at the second tool and that is the element inspector. Now, this is really interesting. So it's going to look at your aggregate click through rates. So for videos that have faces in the thumbnail versus videos that don't have a face. And you can see the massive difference. And I've been telling you on this channel for a long time, put your face on your thumbnail. I don't do it on every single video. So I've done it on 43 of my videos, five of my videos. I've not put my face and look at that. The click through rate is 8.6%. The ones with my face, the average is 10%. That is a massive difference and will massively impact the amount of views that you get on your channel and how quickly you grow your YouTube channel. Next, I've got an emotion. So what kind of face have I pulled on that thumbnail? Is it happy? Is it sad? Is it surprised? Is it calm? Most of the time I'm happy because I have people like you who watch my YouTube videos and support the channel. So thanks and shout out to all of you and hit that like button if you're enjoying this video. Next, we're going to go on to sizes. Is it a long shot, a medium shot, a close up shot or mixed? And they've got a nice example. There's a long shot, far away, medium shot, which is a head and shoulders and a close up is really close up on your face. Next, they've got text and no text. So I have text in all of my thumbnails and you'll see that the average click rate is 10% and zero for no text. Words in the title, it's interesting to see what kind of words you use that get the best click through rate. Change is my best. Your is my second best. Account, where I teach you how to verify your account and verify. Then there's YouTube 11% and the last one is the year 2020, which creates a bit of relevancy. Let's head back and look at our third tool, my favorite, the opportunities. Now this is great for you to find new opportunities to increase your views on videos you have already created. Now this is a no brainer because you can get more views without doing much work. All you need to do here is identify which of these click through rates you can improve and then you can head back and either do an A-B test inside of TubeBuddy, which is a great way to do it. So you can test two thumbnails against each other. However, you do need the paid version of TubeBuddy for this. I definitely think it's worth it. I currently use it and test a lot of my thumbnails in this A-B test. The other way to do it is the metrics that we just looked at in that second tool. 
Use those to see how you could increase your click-through rate. What words can you use? Can you use a close-up shot? Is it better? And do you need to add your face into the thumbnail? So look at this one, TubeBuddy vs VidIQ. We could increase this click-through rate by putting my face inside of this. So remember, we were at about 10.6% click-through rate average if we had our face in there. So if we add our face, we're gonna go from 9.2, hopefully up to around that 10% mark, which will get us more views really quickly. And you can go through these and look at your performance. So that's a, a very average click-through rate at 4%. We need to try and increase that. He has a click-through rate of 5%. Maybe this is a bit too busy. We can clean it up a bit. He has uh, one that we can increase the click-through rate where it was a TubeBuddy tutorial. And maybe we just need to get something better that draws people in to increase that click-through rate. It's a great place for you to see where your opportunities lie. And we're looking at impressions, average view duration, and increasing that click-through rate to get more views on our channel. That's why I really like this click magnet tool. And then we can go into advanced analytics and this is going to give you a lot of information that you can then use to improve your videos going forward and to improve the videos that are already published on your YouTube channel. So we've got our clicks and impressions, our views, and then we've got our average duration and average percentage. We've got watch time per hour and total watch time and a click-through rate and a power ranking. So you can see clicks versus impressions, views versus clicks divided by views as a percentage, that average duration, which is what we're always looking for, that audience retention, the longer you can hold that audience retention, you can then grow your channel a lot faster. So this is one of the main areas that we need to work on our channel is increasing our audience retention. It's really low at the moment at about 1 minute 30, 1 minute 20, 118, 115, 118. So some of the videos that we've released more recently, there's three minutes, we're up to 240 there. That one's below a minute, below a minute, uh, 1 minute, 115, 153. And there's another nice one, the TubeBuddy 344, which is doing well, and 258, which is better. There's a four minute one, which is a really good one. So you really want to try and look at how you can tactically increase your average duration while also keeping that click-through rate high. If you have any questions about the new click magnet tool, please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to create a video specifically for the questions that you have around the new click magnet tool. If you have any broader questions about TubeBuddy and how to use TubeBuddy to get more views, whether you should upgrade, what you should upgrade to, or any other questions around TubeBuddy, please let me know in the comments down below. If you're new here, consider subscribing to our channel because we create new videos every single week, helping you start and grow on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.